the Catholic women of England who gave birth to Cafford. We were just ordinary women doing just what we could. It was really Jacqueline Stoit who was behind it all. Jackie wrote to FAO and they received a letter from Sister Alicia from Dominica asking for help because they wanted to save the lives of children who were dying from malnutrition. The Catholic Women's League and the Union of Catholic Mothers, they were the principal distributors of the leaflet. In 1962, inspired by pioneering Catholic women who held the first fast days, CAFOD was established by the bishops of England and Wales during the Second Vatican Council. This gave us our mandate to work for justice and human development in some of the world's poorest communities. The Catholic community putting faith into action. For the last 50 years, we have worked with our partners to overcome poverty in the face of huge natural disasters and shocking global events as well as campaigning to change the systems that keep people poor and adapting to new challenges and opportunities. Our work is made possible not only by the passion and commitment of hundreds and thousands of supporters here at home, but by the Caritas family, Catholic agencies on the ground in parishes and dioceses all over the world, and by women and men religious, reaching the most vulnerable every day. United by our vision of just one world and driven by compassion, solidarity and love, we are called to work for lasting change. There are huge challenges ahead. Globally, these remain a changing climate and the world economic crisis. But three basic issues facing every poor community are shortages of water, food and energy, underpinned by continuing powerlessness and lack of education. It is up to our generation of CAFOD to respond to the new signs of the times and walk in solidarity with those among us who need help. As we look ahead to the next 50 years, we will continue to strive for a world where every human person can flourish and live in safety and dignity. A changed world that anticipates the peace and justice of the kingdom of God a world where CAFOD may have no reason to exist. Working together, we can transform this hope into a reality.